What up, guys? It's me, Canon Miko, aka Ocean Crash, the keto guy. How y'all doing today? I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that has helped me through keto. Five tips to help you get through your time in keto. Yeah, I said it. Five tips. Five tips. Let's go. Tip number one try intermittent fasting. A lot of people that are on keto tend to do intermittent fasting while they are on keto. And intermittent fasting, in case you guys don't know, is when you only eat through a certain time period of the day. I only ate from 2 to 8 p.m. That was the times I ate. I only ate for six hours a day, every day. Didn't eat before, didn't eat after. Helps prevent munching, helps prevent overeating, helps prevent against those cravings. It teaches your body, I can't ha- eat. I can't eat junk food. Can't do it. Not this late at night. No, hell no. Um, so yeah, try intermittent fasting. It's great. There are a bunch of videos online on how to effectively prep yourself for intermittent fasting. It's great. Highly recommended. I did it for the longest time. Um, yeah. Number two, if you do want a snack, okay, if you do want a snack, snack on snacks that snack and snack. No, I'm just joking. Snack on things that have high fats and the best thing I can think of is not pork rinds. They're disgusting. I hate pork rinds. You can you can snack on pork rinds if you like the taste. I personally don't like them. But in my honest opinion, the best thing you can possibly snack on are macadamia nuts and almonds. I go to Costco. I get this bag of macadamia nuts and it's just mm, delicious. Of course, I don't overeat, overindulge. I have like a like 10 of them, a handful. I just have that handful. That's my snack. That's in between my meals, you know. So, a snack on macadamia nuts and almond nuts. It's a great source of fats, great source of energy. Uh, keeps that, that energy in, you know, the fats that you need. Keep in mind, you need fats more than you need proteins. It's a fat majority diet, not a protein majority diet. Keep that in mind. People tend to forget that very frequently. So, um, yeah, snack on macadamia nuts. Uh, if you are craving something sweet, try something that is using erythritol, okay? If you love tea or coffee, try Keto Coffee Creamer. I believe it's made by Keto Bomb. I actually use it uh, when I'm craving something sweet or want to sweeten my, my tea or coffee. Try Keto Coffee Creamer. I believe it's made by Keto Bomb. It's delicious. I've spoken about it before. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet and it doesn't taste like real sugar. It tastes like sugar sweetener which is, does not raise up your um, glucose. <laughs> doesn't raise up your glucose. Uh, so try Keto Coffee Creamer if you need something sweet in your life. It's great with tea. You can also have it with protein shakes. You can have it with anything. Um, and then tip number four is give MCT, an oil, MCT oil a try if you're having low energy. Uh, low energy can come from fatigue, can come from a lot of issues. Um, the number one is that you're not getting enough fats. Uh, that's the most common. You're not eating enough fats, so your body doesn't have a source of, of energy, and it's going in this this like this relaxed, like cool down state. Think of it like a train when it's done riding, it shoots all that steam out and it just like cools down. That's what your body's doing when you're exhausted. You wake up, you're like, why do I have no energy? You have no energy because you haven't consumed any energy. It's not just proteins. You need proteins. You need fats, avocados, macadamia nuts. Anything that has a lot of fats, you gotta eat it. Eat fats. Have a lot of, uh, have a lot of oil. A lot of olive oil is great. Extra virgin olive oil is great. Um, have that 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 half and half. You want half and half. You want heavy cream. Uh, when you go to a coffee shop, ask for heavy cream instead of half and half in your coffee. Do that. Uh, put some MCT oil in your coffee. Add some butter. Have bulletproof coffee. Uh, there are other ways. Butter is great source of fat as well when you're cooking. So. You got to make sure you're getting that fat. People forget that. I hear that is the number one issue on keto diet is people think just consuming large amounts of meat is a sustainable source of your diet. It's not a protein diet. It's a fat diet. So remember that. Um, MCT oil is a great source of energy. It absorbs. It, it's it, It's so good. It's such a good source of energy. It goes straight to the body right away that it actually has a common side effect of stomach aches. It's not too severe. It's like a minor stomach ache, like you need to go to the bathroom. But it's a great source of energy. It helps energize yourself when you're tired. When I'm tired, I know I'm going to have a tiring day. I use MCT oil because I know I haven't consumed a lot of fats or if maybe my diet is very um, wrong. (laughs) 
my diet is not, you know, correct for that day, for the meal period, the meal period, cannot speak. If it's not correct for the meal period, if I'm busy with the work, I have a lot of conference calls or whatever it may be, um, and I know my, my calorie and my fat intake is not where it needs to be, MCT oil, great substitute, so fats, you need it, MCT oil, it's a great source. Um, last but not least, the last tip I can give you, especially if you are a busy individual and you go to work, you drive to work, you walk into the city and you just don't have time. If you're like me, you're young, you're an entrepreneur, you work all day, barely have any time to relax. Huh. Um, <laughs> try uh, meal prepping. Meal prepping is phenomenal. I did it all throughout college. Um, I really want to do it again now since I find myself not being able to have time to create my own meals and cook like I used to. Um, I used to cook my meals all the time. And then when I was in college, I started getting busier and busier with the work. And college, I started meal prepping. Seven meals a day, had them in containers. It was great. My favorite, my favorite meal prepped dish was steamed, steamed, boiled, boiled, boiled chicken breast. Boiled chicken breast. I cannot speak today. <laughs> Boiled chicken breast is phenomenal with steamed broccoli. It is so delicious. And you can get some like sugar-free barbecue sauce to put, sugar-free barbecue sauce to put on that chicken with some of that steamed broccoli. Mm. Great meal prep dish. Highly recommend it. It's great. It's phenomenal for, for when you're busy and you can't afford to have time. Those are my five tips. Tip number one, try intermittent fasting. Tip number two, snack on them nuts, baby. <laughs> snack on macadamia nuts and almond nuts, great. Tip number three, you're looking for something sweeter, try keto coffee creamer. Tip number four, if you're tired all the time, you're not consuming enough fats, try MCT oil, it's phenomenal. Uh, side effect of stomach pain is common. Don't feel shocked. Don't feel crazy. Stomach pain is not that bad. And tip number five, meal prep. If you cannot cook your meals, if you don't have time to eat healthy, if you don't have time, if you if you fail to find yourself constantly on keto and you're breaking your diet because a Pop-Tart's easy to grab from a vending machine and you don't have food ready for you, meal prep. It's the number one issue that I currently face and I face till this day and that I faced before was I never had keto-friendly food ready at my disposal. So I found myself starving and I didn't have time to cook. I was busy. I was like, I don't have time to cook a keto dish. I ended up snacking on something that was not keto friendly. Knocked me out of ketosis. Meal prep saves your lives. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to another episode of Before We Work. My name is Ken Miko. I didn't say this is Before We Work, did I, in the beginning? This is Before We Work. Um, I'm about to get back to work. Uh, I just I just had a crazy meeting. Guys, stay healthy. Don't let your day of work bother you. It's Tuesday today. You're going to see this video on a Tuesday. I wish it was Friday. Have a good day, guys. Again, it's Ken Miko, a.k.a. Ocean Crash. Let me know how you're doing. Comment in the comment section down below. I'm making some big changes to YouTube, my YouTube channel. I'm trying to experiment, changing my title algorithm. So you'll see it in my Before We Work playlist. I have like 20 episodes with, with my elongated title and then my newer episodes don't like have a different title. I'm testing out the algorithm to see maybe I'm not getting a lot of viewership because of my title, but go ahead, give that a like, give it a look, like my videos, please help me get famous. I need a, I want to be famous. What a Lamborghini. No, I'm just joking. Um, yeah, I love doing this for the fun. So even if I get 10 viewers, I don't care. I mean, I would like to make this a living where I can just make videos. Especially when I open up my coffee shop, it'll be great. I like the I like the passion I get from it. I like communicating and and discussing a lot of struggles that I know people have on a day to day basis. Um, you know, keto is a huge topic people talk about. Ketosis is the number one diet, it's the no, number one trending diet of our current time. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for your time. I lo I spoke a lot, so have a good day. <laughs> Till next time, stay healthy, stay hungry, stay friendly. Love you all. Peace.